it was a remarkable trip and it's like, uh, so I feel fortunate that we were able to be there. You know, our members recognize that when we reach out and help other people who are struggling, we actually help ourselves. And that's really what we're doing internationally in this, in this instance, is that we're giving uh, a very small donation on the, the scale of things uh, to help uh, Indigenous people, uh, this, case, this uh, case in Guatemala, actually try to work to better themselves. The Indigenous population these were people of, uh, of are descendants of a, a very real and, and successful uh, city-state, which, which lasted for not hundreds of years, but thousands. And there's a lot that we can learn from that if we only stopped and actually paid attention. Well, it was uh, very minimal. Everything was pretty uh, basic. Uh, they don't have piped gases or medical gases or anything. It's all based on tanks and support. Info warmer looked very new, like it would be something that we'd see at our hospital. Um, and a nice operating table with uh, the lighting. But then there was just a few tables around and then there was, it was like it was empty. Their equipment is donation, so they don't even have any upkeep or maintenance or quality assurance stuff to deal with it. They do pretty good for what they got. It's about 20 kilometers away, the community that she came from. It's her fifth child. It's her fifth child. Indudablemente ahí la educación en salud es muy importante. Pues los jóvenes reflexionan y recapacitan ante este problema. Esto ha sido beneficioso para lograr cambios en en los adolescentes. Eh, incluso con las señoras comadronas, que es un grupo bastante fuerte, eh, más de 170 comadronas eh, tradicionales eh, que tenemos en Monostenango, pues han sido capacitadas en diferentes temas. En este caso, eh, también pidiéndoles el apoyo para la orientación a las familias, a las señales de peligro, a la atención del parto limpio y seguro, a la referencia oportuna para evitar las muertes maternas. They were delivering uh, services to 100 and almost 140,000 people uh, out of what was uh, a very uh, minimally uh, equipped a series of concrete rooms was uh, an eye opener. Here you had a hospital where uh, you had story after story about where they couldn't treat their patients because they didn't have medicines, they didn't have the proper equipment, they didn't have the resources. Then the chief of the hospital was also telling you that they were able to maintain ISO 9001 standards and have kept it up ever since, which is, you know, the hard to do for hospitals that do have resources. And here's people that, you know, ha haven't been paid, um, have no resources, and yet they're working so hard to obtain a standard of care that it exceeds many, many other places in the world. The fact that we can help out uh, in conjunction with an employer uh, to, uh, to give them uh, the materials, uh, the drugs, uh, the equipment, uh, to be able to deliver better health services to people who are existing on $1.50 a day is amazing. First and foremost, I think we can uh, learn a very good lesson about what medicine's all about and why we got into this field. Um, it really makes you go back to the brass roots. These people aren't doing it for the big paychecks. They're not doing it because they're in fancy hospitals. They're doing it because they care. And sometimes it's good to get back to those grassroots.